Hey, hey, it's Kari. I'm in my studio and I'm actually going to make a sample for a client. And I'm going to use silver leafing. Have you wondered about silver leafing? Do you know the difference between silver leafing and gold leafing? I'm just going to go through my sample making today and uh, tell you how I use silver leafing. Um, you can use silver leafing on all kinds of things, really. You can use it on pieces of furniture, inside drawers, around frames. Um, but to, I'm making a sample for a client for a ceiling and I've already base coated it in a really pretty blue. There's two ways to do silver leafing. You can have a back base, a black base, or a blue base, but traditionally it was blue. It was blue historically. That's what they usually did uh, silver leafing on. There's something about the silver and the blue that are very complementary to each other. So I gave her the option of which color base she wanted and she chose blue because she, start, she wanted to start introducing some navies into her space and so I thought that would be really cool. So the technique that we're going to do is we're, we, we're going to base cut her ceiling in a blue and then I'm going to get silver. You can get silver leafing at all kinds of craft stores, Michaels and everything and this is um, a special way that I get it and I'm going to roll it out and I'm going to adhere it to my surface and they're going to come in squares but the reason why I went ahead and chose a blue base is because when the, the silver leafing breaks away from the surface, I'm going to see navy. And that's what I want to see. So this is just on some paper so I don't touch it with my hands because you're working on a glue. And you guys, I have all kinds of tutorials on um, YouTube at Kari Caldwell Studios and on my uh, website at KariCaldwellStudios.com. And then I give you full length tutorials. But look how cool it's already looking. So I'm going to fill up these two little sides real quick. And um, I just rip it off because I like my leaf a little broken. It's a distressed finish. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the other side. And I don't want my lines to match up. I do want to see the shapes of the squares because that's somewhat traditional to seeing the shapes of your squares. And I'm going to try to save the rest of this leaf. It depends on how much square you want to see and how much square you don't want to see. Um, is you can, you can make it messier or whatever. But like I said, if you like um, watching me do some of my tutorials, you should head over to my website at Kari Caldwell Studios and look for them there. Or follow me on Facebook where I'll show you more in depth. But today we're just making a quick sample for my client's ceiling. And um, I'm going to do a little bit more, but I'm going to go sideways. So because this your silver leafing can get expensive when you're going as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to go pretty far. It's an entire ceiling in a dining room. It'll look really cool because um, it'll give her some reflection. It's a little niche ceiling. It'll give her some reflection. It'll give her some glam because she has kind of a, she's got a little bit of sophisticated, a little bit of um, rustic. And so it's kind of fun when you mix in a little silver leafing too. So I've got my silver leafing on. It looks really cool, but it's super, super shiny. And I don't want it that shiny. And then the, the, the blue appears to be black, but it's just a softer tone um, when you get more in the room. So it's just a little softer. So I'm just gonna use a dark wax and I wanna just age it a little um, because <clears throat> I don't really care for my silver this bright and nor does she so I'm just going to squirt a little bit of wax on there and then I'm just going to smash it around until I get my desired antiquing which is about there I think that looks pretty darn cool um, I don't really want to see my method of application so I'm kind of just going to soften up my um, this is a nice little dark wax like I said, you guys, I re really have, what do I have, like 20 videos out there if you want to know more and stuff, and um, you can always get on my email list too because I offer all kinds of workshops, and we can talk more about products and things like that, but look at how quick is that? Well, once you get on a big ceiling, it won't be quite as quick, but that is a silver leaf, broken silver leaf finish. You can use this on furniture, 
you can use it on um, the underside of glass. You can do it in the backs of cabinets. I'm gonna do it on a ceiling because it's really pretty. It's a nice reflective ceiling. And I don't know, find somewhere. And if you find somewhere and you do something and you said, hey, Kari taught me that, swing over to my Facebook page, Kari Caldwell Studios, and post it. I'd love to see some of your work.